so good morning all i am audible yes ma'am okay so in last lecture we are uh, we are uh, doing the program related to the gui okay so uh, in that we are implementing um, various functions in the gui that will be the button canvas check button entry frame label list box menu button like all the points okay so now today we will uh, remain the three points that will be the radio button scroll bar and spin box okay so uh, in last lecture i am explaining uh, about the uh, radio button okay so uh, we are using radio button to uh, radio button for choosing only one option okay like uh, we have to consider the example of our mcq test or online uh, quizzes like that so in that we are using the radio button so uh, uh, we now we will uh, execute the program for the radio button okay so you have to see here first we need to import the tk enter why why because tk enter is a interface between the gui and its uh, packages okay so here i will take first uh, one root is equal to tk enter okay now what i am doing here i am taking the radio button in that we are having first we call it as our interface that will be a tk interface after that in text here i will write uh, in text means the uh, the uh, the uh, label which is present in front of that radio button that will be a gfg then variable is equal to v v means what it will be an integer where means what we are suppose uh, here we are we are writing the suppose number for that we are taking the variable value is equal to 1 here it is compulsory to give the one two sequence why because if we, we are changing this sequence the radio button is uh, changes their sequence okay and we are taking the pack method so pack method is what the pack method will be organize all the blocks before uh, before uh, the execution of the program okay and we are taking the variable here actually here uh, v is there means we are uh, once again we are cutting, calling this a uh, integer variable now i will if i will execute you have to see here the my programming window here two uh, two radio buttons are generated okay so here i will write the simple code for the generating a radio button suppose if uh, suppose we are uh, doing any registration for mean that we are taking this radio button Uh, that time um, we are having different different a uh, labels so this will be the code for the a uh, generation of the a uh, simple radio button okay so everyone understand radio button i think so in last lecture uh, many of you are implementing this radio button yes everyone understand radio button Yes, I am audible. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now uh, you have to implement the radio button. In that, what you have you have to do? You have to take a uh, one of the a label first of all. In that, you have to give the label for that a uh, radio button, like we consider as a gender. So, gender is my. Uh, you have to write that the gender in a uh, label, and after that, you have to. Take a two radio buttons, okay, and you have to select oh, like uh, only one option. You have to write if you have to click on the uh, that radio button, it will be a uh, go through the uh, select only one option. Means what? You have to give the label to this radio button by using a label tag. Here I am directly mentioning two radios. buttons but you have to take give the one of the label to this radio button so you have to implement the program for the a radio button everyone implement it
so how many of you completed yes how many of you completed with this point that will be the radio button yes you have to see here uh, here just what i should do i will here add only the uh, content of the label why because i want to give the sum of the label for my radio button so you have to see here the output that will be your programming subject and you have to choose any one option from the this programming subject so this will be the a simple example for the radio button by using label okay so everyone understand understand how to impo, uh, how to implement the radio button in gui yes ma'am okay so how many of you done with this program everyone implement the program okay so now uh, many of you are implementing this radio button so now we will move to the next concept okay so next concept is a, a scroll bar next concept is what a scroll bar can anyone tell what is what is scroll bar yes what is scroll bar yes what is scroll bar can anyone tell we use for a call down press yes okay so uh, scroll bar is what you have to see here this in my uh, window if i will uh, move this uh, bar uh, 
up and down so we call it as a this will be the scroll bar okay this will be the scroll bar so how to implement this scroll bar in our program so now we will see the program for the uh, for a scroll bar okay So, uh, so in scroll bar, we are having two method. One is a get and one is set. Why? Because a uh, get means what we are ch checking that the present uh, return a two number like A and B, we are representing then uh, the position of this will be the up and down like that. And set means what uh, we are having a uh, set method. So we are using this set method to uh, control with the X axis and Y axis. Means we call it as a vertically and horizontally, how we are setting the any of the scroll. So now we will write the program for that. So from tk and enter import star. Okay. Okay, so uh, we will write the program. I'm spelling of wrong. We will take top is equal to pk. Okay, so I will take a scroll for a scroll bar variable declaration as a sb is equal to a scroll bar. Okay, scroll bar of what top? Scroll bar of top. Now, here I will take the method that will be the pack method for uh, uh, combining all the uh, all the uh, elements which we are writing over here. Side is equal to suppose right. Here we need to give the uh, side in which side uh, we want to uh, fit our scroll bar. Okay, fill is equal to y. Y is a axis. Okay, y is a axis. Now I will take my list is equal to here list box. Okay. List box of top comma. Here we are taking the Y scroll bar means what we want to put our, uh, we want to put our scroll bar in the Y axis. So we are taking Y scroll bar. is equal to sb dot set okay we are using the set method here why because we want to set our uh, scroll bar in the specific location okay now here i will take one of the loop from line in range uh, range of 30 okay my list my list dot insert insert at the end at the end comma number plus a str str of line okay str of line str of line okay str of line and after that i will take my list dot pack side 
is equal to L E F T left. Okay, and S B dot config config of command is equal to my list dot y view y view main loop Okay, so this will be the program. Now I will execute this program. So expected the indentation. Oh, sorry, indentation. Ma'am, screen is not visible. Okay. Okay. Now my screen is visible. Yes. Now my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So you have to see here, here I will do one change only. I will add uh, the scroll bar in the both the side that will be right and left, okay? Means what? In the X axis and in the Y axis. So you have to see here my result, okay? Uh, the uh, X and the Y, you have to see here. Uh, here I will take the uh, loop, uh, the loop which uh, here I will take uh, that will be up to the range 100 or uh, suppose I will, uh, change this range so you have to see here it will be a display a number o up to only 0 to 9 but here you have to see here here scroll bar is not there why because uh, the 0 to uh, 10 number will be fit in the uh, this GUI so I will here uh, change my number so I will suppose add here 100 so you have to see here my uh, the scroll bar is a uh, activated my scroll bar is activated and we are moving this scroll bar into our uh, into up and down to see the uh, result of the uh, content which here present over here okay so uh, you have to see here uh, for right side we are uh, fitting our uh, this scroll bar in the right side okay in the y axis we call it as a this will be a y axis and after that what we are taking we are just taking my list it this will be the method. This will be the method to set the scroll bar in the y axis. Means what? We call it as a, this will be the y axis. So suppose now uh, we uh, we want the same uh, for the uh, x axis. So you have to just implement the uh, same program. You have to just take here uh, at the point of y axis, you have to put the x axis. You have to put the x axis and you have to see the changes. What changes is? Uh, occur in your program. So you have to do it. So you have to see here, here I will change the uh, axis that will be the X axis and uh, I will execute the program. You have to see here, here output is display and we are doing scroll down, but the scroll bar is not visible here. Why? Because we are uh, putting our scroll bar in the this X axis. It will be uh, not visible to us, but you have to see here the our this window here. If the window will be not fit with the uh, uh, window which present over here so you have to see here here 
uh, x axis is there and here y axis is there okay so this will be the difference so most of the time we are using a uh, x axis uh, y axis so you have to write the program to implement both the axis in the same program at the same time okay So everyone implement this program for the scroll bar.
How many of you completed with the program? Okay, so everyone understand how to uh, import the scroll uh, scroll bar in our pro uh, window or our GUI application. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now uh, we will move to the uh, next and last point that will be the spin box. Okay, that will be the spin box. Okay, so um, just uh, okay. So a spin box means what? Uh, it will be a same like a entry, which we are uh, taking that will be the entry box uh, in this point. Entry box means what? We are inserting some of the value in that entry box, okay? So like that same uh, spin box is there, but here we are giving the sum of the range in our program. In that we are, uh, we are uh, selecting only one, like we call it as a, uh, we are giving the range and that range, we are selecting any of the number from that list like that so that will be the a uh, spin box it will be a uh, same like we call it as a uh, the scroll uh, scroll bar like we are uh, moving up and down but uh, here in a spin box we are having only one single line and in that line we are just uh, moving like uh, incrementing our range incrementing our range so we will see the program and the output of the spin box so from tk enter import top is equal to okay top dot so spin okay we are taking spin is equal to spin spin box of top comma from from means what we are giving some of the range here from 0 to is equal to 25 suppose and now we are taking here pack method spin dot pack spin dot pack and top dot spin dot pack main loop Okay. So you have to see here the my output window. Here one is there. You have to see here the arrow that will be upper arrow and down arrow. So we call it as a this will be the spin box. Means what if we are clicking on this, uh, uh, you have to say here, if we are clicking on the upper arrow, it will be the increasing the value. And if we, we are clicking on this uh, down arrow, so it will be a reducing the value. So we call it as a, this will be the spin box. So we are using uh, this spin box to suppose any range is there and you want to, we want to put the value for that range. So that time we are using this spin box. Okay, so simple code is there for spin box. Just we are taking, giving the range from to two. Okay, we are giving range from from to two only. And we are uh, using this spin. So, okay. So everyone implement this spin box. Only three to four line code is there. Just we need to give the range from zero to 25. And suppose we are putting directly value over here, so it will be accept. And uh, now we, I want to reduce the value, it will be reduced. Means what this box will be uh, give us the uh, user through input also and the 
we are entering some of the specific value means we know that the range of range is what from 0 to 25 so uh, suppose here i will directly enter the value it will be accept and now here onwards uh, if we uh, click on the upper button it will be a not increasing value why because our range is up to a 25 one okay so this will be the a uh, spin box everyone implement it if any doubt then ask What if, ma'am, uh, if we given the value which is greater than its upper limit, will it accept or not? It will be not accepted. You have to try it now. Here, I will suppose enter the 26, okay? And now I will click on uh, the down. It will be a down. But uh, if you want to increment the value, the limit which we are going here, that will be a 25. And you have to click on this upper button. It will be a not change the value. But suppose we are typing this, uh, suppose here 29. It will be accept, but now here onwards, suppose I will click on this upper, it will be written with the value which we are providing over there. You have to see here, here 29. I will click on the upper, it will be changed the value 25. Why? Because we are giving the range here 25. It will be like an alternative term to like, uh, we know that we are implementing the one of the uh, entry form means what suppose first name is there in front of that we are using entry means what we are putting some of the value over there. So same alternative turn for this suppose we are putting the multiple lines. You have to try with the this for the uh, login page or uh, anywhere which we are we are putting some of the value from the user that time we are uh, using this pin as an alternative for the entry point which we are seeing here that will be the entry it will be the alternative term for this spin box okay yes ma'am So everyone understand how to add the spin box.
Yes, everyone understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here we will complete with our fifth unit. Uh, we are covering all the GUI points which we need. So if any other uh, uh, options you know that about to uh, implementing the GUI in GUI, like uh, now we are using the total 13. Here that will be a first is a button. Uh, second is a canvas. In canvas, we are uh, displaying uh, different types of shapes, check button, entry entry and the spin box is a same it will be the just we call it as a alternative for each other then we are implementing frame label list box menu button menu then message in message we are seeing the different types of messages okay and then radio button scroll bar and spin box okay so if you have a doubt any doubt regarding any point you have to ask how to implement uh, any of the means uh, these options which uh, is present over here. Yes, any doubt is there? Okay, so if no, uh, if any doubt is uh, there, then ask. Now you have to take the programming statement for this GUI implementation. You have to create one of the a registration page. In that registration page, you have to take the name, name of uh, first name, middle name, last name, like that format you have to write. You have to take three different labels for uh, first name, second, middle name, last name. You have to take uh, the roll number. Then you have to uh, use the drop down list, means list box to, in that list box, you have to put the uh, different colleges name and uh, name, and then you have to take a radio button for finding the gender and after that you have to take the one of the entry in that entry you have to put the uh, what uh, put your roll number or you have to take the uh, scroll bar for means for display for scrolling up and down means what you have to create one registration page in that registration page you have to use all the content uh, from uh, from the current window which uh, here i will display over here you have to implement each and every G uh, every content of the GUI application in that registration page okay you have to create one of the registration page Everyone write the program in that you have to take all the, this content and you have to design one of the a registration page. Do it, everyone. Everyone implement it. Use the all the content and you have to design one of the registration page.
Yes, how many of you start with the uh, designing of the registration page? Okay, so you have to implement this program and you have to share on our group. You have to just share your GUI. You have to keep code with you. I will ask then that time you have to share your screen and you have to show me. Okay, so now uh, we will uh, stop, uh, stop here today.